Gunner and Young Thug. It's been some shit, man. It's been some shit, man. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw this particular tweet uh, that Young Thug ended up putting out. He said, Gunna, stop acting like we friends on the internet. I don't know you, my guy. <laughs> and <laughs> then you had uh, Gunna's brother that ended up responding to that. And he said, trust and believe the feeling is mutual, P. So people really wasn't, they wasn't looking for this shit, though. They just really wasn't, man. Niggas was ready, you know, for that whole Young Thug and Gunna return, bro. <laughs> like, we already been getting Gunna. Like, Gunna don't need no more returns. Right now, Gunna is actually sitting up there. He's pretty much one of the, he, if not the hottest rapper right now, bro. Yeah. He's probably, like, second. I, I don't know who y'all would put first. But um, Gunna, Gunna is hot right now. So he didn't. He really didn't need nothing. But Young Thug, in my honest opinion, Young Thug needs. I mean, you know, him getting out was huge. But bro, gonna gonna hot right now. Gonna just hot right now. I want to say the mm -hmm. wrong shit and say that I don't want to really say that Young Thug needs gonna. But at the same time, that's kind of what the fuck I'm saying in a way. Okay, <laughs> like because that's just how hot gonna is right now. Um, yeah. What do you think about this situation, man? What did you what do you think? <clears throat> I mean, first off, I'm gonna keep it wavy. That nigga gonna been carrying YSL for the last two years. But when I seen this shit, in my mind, I'm like, is this beef for real or is bro trying to drop an album to get some, you know, some sales or something? Cause I, I'm I'm trying to figure out if the shit for real or not because I was like, bro, you just got on probation for 15 years and you doing this, like, what are you doing, brother? <laughs> My brother, like, I don't yeah. know, bro. I'm trying to figure out if it's real or not or if he just doing a stunt because I, I don't know if it was deleted. I, I heard it was deleted. He deleted it immediately, but you still said yeah. what you said. You can't just sit still, up there yeah. and... You know what I mean? Say some shit and then delete it, and then it's like, oh yeah, it don't it, it don't go because he deleted. Like, no, yeah, nigga, you still said yeah. what you said, bro. I mean, I know Gunna ain't it. responded, but his brother did, so I, that's really kind of make me feel like I don't, I don't know. But I know Gunna, you know, he ain't the he never been the one to be chit chatting on the net. Anyways, he just gonna talk about it if he feel like it in the song. But I don't know, bro. I feel like if this is a like a ploy, like to try to spark some shit, so because he fin thug gonna drop his shit, and it's not really real beef, then I don't really fuck with that because thug, you one of them ones, nigga. You don't need to put no gimmicks and shit like that. Niggas already been waiting two years for you to drop right. some music shit. Even while you was locked up. If you had the if you had the rights to your slime season one, slime two, you should have been put that on Spotify. Cause you know they took all the mixtape uh shits down so niggas can't even listen to their music. And that slime one, slime season one and two, them shits are mm -hmm. fire. Like nigga, I stay listening to that shit. Pull up on the kid, thief in the night. So yeah, yeah. this is a ploy just to get some fans if cause you gonna drop some shit, bro. You ain't gotta do that, but I don't know if it's yeah. real or not. So I ain't gonna lie, man. Uh, whenever I saw it, I'm just kind of like, yo, this shit here is cap. Okay, when I saw it, I'm like, this shit has to be cap, and the reason why is because we just seen him basically. I won't say he was begging in court, but nigga, you basically was begging in court, you know, to be able to speak to motherfucking gun. So it's like, yeah. you know, I, 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 this right here was just kind of caught me, <laughs> caught me off guard, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. I, I saw that shit. I'm just like, bro, what the hell? Didn't you just sit up there, you know, and ask to, yeah. to talk to this Today, man? The Mr. <laughs> yeah, because. Cool. ...of Mr. Quintavious Greer. That is his biological brother. Okay. He asked to talk to the brother. Well Mr. Sergio Kitchens. He's a phenomenal artist. He goes performer known as Gunner, G-U-N-N-A. Mr. Williams and Mr. Kitchens are contractually obligated and they frequently perform music. 
together, Your Honor. To raise so, him. you see, you, I mean, y'all saw it for yourself, okay? So, Gunner didn't, I mean, Young Thug didn't say, oh, oh, whoa, 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 you know, I don't need to talk to him. I just said, I need mm. to talk to my brother. You know what I'm yeah. saying? He didn't stop it, okay? He He's cool with this shit. Yeah. He had that time he could say, hey, what, what, hold on, no. <laughs> Hold on, brother. We, 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 no, not from Sergio. Shit, brother. You know what I mean? I don't, there's no reason for me to sit yeah. up there and talk to him. You know what I mean? So he didn't do that. This nigga, he, he let <laughs> it be what crazy. it is. You feel me? So, yeah. I don't know, bro. Mm. I, I, I just look at this shit as like more of a clout chase. Yeah. And I feel like niggas is going to have to ride Gunner's wave in order to get hot. Gunner is just yeah. too hot right now, bro. He just way too hot right now. And that's yeah, just, that's, I don't know. I'm standing on that. That's weird because that's just like, oh, yeah, let me get permission to talk to this nigga so then I can go and bully this nigga on the internet. Like, bro, what's sense to that, mate? That nigga, let me ask permission so I can stay in contact so I can talk shit to him. Like, nigga, the fuck? If that's the case, you should have asked to stay if you can have contact with Woody ass. Pause, exactly. you feel me? So you can exactly. uh, talk shit to that nigga. So if that's exactly. the case, I feel like it's a motherfucking, like he says, it's just some clout shit. I don't, but bro, I ain't even got to do that. Cause like He really don't even have to do that. All you got to yeah. do is just drop music, fam. But yeah. he want niggas to come listen so hard and shit, and it's just like, bro. <laughs> anyway, man, um, it's been some shit that's going on that says that, you know what I'm saying, whatever Wham says goes and um not too long ago young thug you know basically said that he wants to do a song with wham he wants to do a song with little baby we already know that little baby is really not he, you know mm-hmm. it doesn't seem like he's really liking gunner right now you know Ooh. so i don't yeah they're just saying that this is what that's just what people are saying saying that young i mean uh gunner is not or little baby, I was just gonna say that little baby is really not giving a damn about Gunner right now. Hmm. Okay. Hey. So I don't know what Gunner. I don't know what's gonna come of this. Hey, Gunner ain't Gunner ain't giving a damn about little baby either. So shit, they in the same. <laughs> Cause at the at the way it sound like when little baby said that little shit about Gunner out here snitching. And then that nigga music went down like this, and then Gunner shit. As soon as he got out, that shit just, you know what I'm saying? You would think that little baby was the one that was locked up and couldn't make no music for about eight months, <laughs> and and Gunner was out. But nah, little baby was out here making songs, talking about some, hey, that little corny ass shit. Did nobody want to hear that? <laughs> And then Gunner uh, came out and took that bitch for the last two years, bro. So I really feel like Lil Baby and Thug, they need each other right now if they trying to get back on that music, on the music shit. So right. Gunner don't need them niggas musically. He can do it. Obviously, he's been doing that he shit. Can stand on, he can stand on yeah. his own for sure. I just hope this shit own. ain't, I hope that shit ain't real. I hope this, well, I'm talking about the Gunner and Thug shit. Lil Baby, I mean, he gonna feel how he feel. He be saying shit, but who listens yeah. to Lil Baby anymore? <laughs> Lil Baby, hey, man, I'm like, I can't do, I can't do Wham like that because you know, I think that Wham, I don't know, if, you know what? Let me let me say this about Wham. Um, he really, it seemed like after the whole QC shit, you know what I mean, bro? Really, just he didn't have that push no more. And I'm not gonna act like the music was just doing what it needed to be doing either, but I'll just say that he really, he just didn't have that push. You know, uh, ain't nobody really just pushing that shit like that. And that's that's what I'll say about bro. However, um, if we just keeping this shit all the way a stack, Lil Baby hasn't been able to sit up there, bro, and just fuck with no gunner, bro. Okay, yeah. he just he's just not swinging. You know what I mean? Like, like Gunner, bro. That nigga got out of jail, came home swinging. Okay? He even let y'all niggas catch up. Niggas was locked up. You know what I'm saying? And he came home and he just he just started fucking swinging. Right? And like you said, 
it seemed like little baby was the nigga that was locked up you know what i mean because it was like damn bro you ain't did nothing really since gonna came home and been rocking shit so I'm not gonna lie, man. In terms of like who the better artist is, I don't feel like there's any question that Gunna is definitely the better artist right now. Um, and that's just that's just that's no offense to Wham. It's just right now, bro. Just 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 is what it is. Just is what it is. Um, I honestly felt like a better beef would have probably been Future and Gunna. That's just me, you know. Um, but. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen to uh, come out of this. I don't know if I don't know if Thug is needing Wham to go at Gunna and say shit that he can't say. You did, <laughs> or or what it is with that. You know what I'm saying? But that's shit. crazy, bro. Because it's just a crazy situation. You know they did when when Gun Baby did come out of him and Gunna was doing them albums together. It's well known source, and is it? You know they've been said that. Gunner was helping little baby rap, like teaching him how to rap, like do pockets and all that shit like that when they was mm-hmm. doing them albums together. So I don't know, bro. Um I don't know. <laughs> I, do I don't know how true that is, but yeah. I do remember that um Lil Baby hadn't too long started rapping, like you know, not too long ago he yeah. started rapping. So I don't know if he kinda showed him a little this or that. I don't know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Did you hear about uh? They said that boy Drake gave uh came to Atlanta, flew in, and gave uh Thug one million in cash. Yeah, man, I saw uh DJ Academics set up there and um and said that too. You know what I'm saying? I did, I did see that uh, DJ Academics was sitting up there saying that that that's what happened. Um, I don't know. I think that, you know, I don't know how I don't know how DJ Academics knows this shit. Okay, I just don't know. I don't know how he knows this, but you know, he said he said that that's what transpired, man. So um, at the end of the day, if he did, you know, what I'm saying that's some that's some G shit. That's some real nigga shit. You know, shout out to Drake for doing so. Um, yeah. However, I feel like shit. You know, and this is just me keeping it 100, man. We on country. I feel like, nigga, you better. <laughs> the hell is you talking about? <laughs> you, you know what I mean? And the reason why I say that is because right now, it doesn't look like, I won't say that um, it doesn't really too much look like uh, Atlanta ain't really fucking with him. You know what I'm saying? But niggas was trying to make it seem like he needs Atlanta. You know, he needs those plugs, you know, in Atlanta. And honestly, shit. You better sit up there, nigga, and go do something, nigga. You need some. You need. You need this nigga. You need young thug. Okay, yeah. niggas need that that young thug backup, bro. That's just my opinion on what you what you yeah. think about it. I ain't gonna lie, man. I know thug Drake was he was solid with that nigga thug being out. So I like, mean, far as we know, I mean, he had Drake was on the album. You know, they had to. They had the uh, cars that they had together and shit. So, I mean, you know, that's really that nigga twin. Then, Thug, the only one that's mending them relationships between Future and... I mean, he already mended it with Future. They said they already got on the phone and talked about it, and they cool. I heard that was Cap. Uh, I was Cap. That's what I heard. I heard that that was Cap. He said that he didn't even know that that, uh, Kevin... He didn't know Kendrick was gonna di- was dissing, but was gonna be dissing on that song. Now he just knew know. he was getting on the song. I don't even know. I I didn't even hear that either. You just gonna have to set up that man and me. get the speaking up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? For real, because I I haven't heard that yet, and I feel like that. All of this viral. is allegedly though. We ain't saying that shit happening, yeah. folks. We just saying yeah. allegedly. But he right did now, I have to say that. that tweet, though. Yeah, I saw that. I saw him retweet. You know what I mean? Yeah. That you know that they should do this or that. But I don't. I haven't heard anything saying that. Or, well, I did, but then that individual came out to be you know a goddamn liar. I'm not even gonna yeah. say his name. Uh, but whenever he said that they had got on the phone and shit like that, people rolled with it because he was a you know he's a well known name. But then. Yeah. Like a day later, niggas was like, "Nigga, that's cap, bro." 
You know what I'm saying? Somebody came out, bro. That, that's not. That's that's cap. They have not gotten on the phone. So right now I have to go off of that because that went viral when niggas. You know what I'm saying? I forgot who it was, but came out and said, "But but that, hey, bro, that's cap." You know what I'm saying? That, that right there said that's cap. They have not gotten on the phone together. They have not necessarily squashed anything yet, and shit is just still what it is. As far as uh, Young Thug and Drake, don't look like things have went bad there. You know what I'm saying? Like YP said, you know, dude was on the album, shit like that. And then we also seen Drake, you know, really, really, um, you know, he was shouting out Young Thug throughout the whole, throughout his whole little term over there. You know what I'm saying? Throughout the whole time that he was in jail, Drake was still showing love to Young Thug. So, you know, that relationship is still there. However, if I'm Drake, I still wouldn't have lost that relationship. I would take that one very, very dear. Okay, I would, I would really make sure that I don't go in the red with Thug because once you go in the red with Thug and all of these other niggas already haven't been fucking with you, bro, that's gonna be that for Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? So this is, in my honest opinion, his last hope. Okay, so uh, that's just me. And that's just what I think. Okay, I could be wrong. Shout out to Drake. Shout out to Young Thug. I'm glad that those guys are, you know doing their thing and motherfucking me everything is still cool with those guys right but yeah man this is just what we have man y'all y'all get in the comment section y'all let me know what do y'all think is gonna come out of this whole situation with gunner and young thug do y'all think that we'll ever get music from those two together uh, or do y'all think that that's dead do y'all think that you know thug is going to use Lil baby to pretty much call gonna snitch okay <laughs> right because you know there's a lot of things that young thug cannot say otherwise his ass is going to be locked up for 40 so he kind of i don't know if he's using little baby as a pawn you know what i'm saying or what you know but i do believe that whatever what whatever happens out of this it will help little baby's career okay uh because <laughs> little baby has been needing some he's been on life support bro <laughs> needs he, he he needs anything that he can you know what i'm saying to get going and i like little baby so you know um i hope that it i hope it works that's what i'll hey, say I, just, all I hope it works all of what that nigga said all the fries you can give me that nigga need all the help you can give me <laughs> that shit crazy, man. Cause you know, what I'm saying at a point, man, uh, little baby didn't need no, no help, bro. It was just you know he had his own fire going, and then it just got put out. Seemed like after QC got sold, things like that, man. Seemed like man after off uh, after takeoff got uh, shot, shit just died for I for like all of them niggas. That, bro, I feel like for little baby, it was after he started getting exposed. Of paying to fuck these porn stars and shit, I feel like that, that's that wasn't too bad, bro. Because all these niggas in the industry is tricking, so I, yeah. I don't think that's what it was. All them niggas is tricks, bro. Yeah. Hell, all them niggas, as quiet as it's kept, bro. All of them niggas is tricks. You name the rapper, nigga. Them niggas is tricks. Ain't there's not one rapper that's outside right now that's really pivot around this motherfucker. And if you, and the only person that I'll give it to is Sauce. If we talking pimping, you know what I'm saying. So with that being said, all these niggas is is bro, they tricks. So I don't think that's what it was, bro. I mean, because your music got to still be hitting. There's been other niggas, oh, yeah. you know, the, uh, the the trick on some hoes and get caught. You know what I mean? Tricking on hoes and, and they and their music is still doing what it's supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? Think so it was a joke. I was just joking, but I think it. But I get what you're saying. I think is he went commercial a little bit on that last album, especially when niggas heard that Hey song. I think they was pretty much done with this nigga. Like that <laughs> little video where he was showing the song and the nigga, his homies was in the, they was in oh, the yeah. room and they were saying Hey, and they yeah. was throwing their heads like it was forced <laughs> and shit. Like I think niggas was pretty much done right there. They was like, Nah, this it. <laughs> That's this not ain't it, dead. bro. Yeah, yeah that, 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 I ain't gonna lie. That that song kind of was like that. That kind of let us. That that was like 
the fire, uh, you know, the fire extinguisher, you know, being put on that motherfucking fire right there. You know what yeah. I'm saying? That's when the firemen definitely came they out. Just, you like, know, <laughs> they ain't hey, gonna lie to just drop an album after that shit. They was like, I thought gonna just drop some D. Yeah, because this nigga little baby lost me. With nah, that for real. Shit. <laughs> he was he was wrong for that. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. But hey, man, this is just what we got, man. Y'all let me know, man. What y'all think about you know Gunner? And Young Thug and this whole this whole shit right here, bro. Do, do y'all think they're gonna be able to overcome that? 